What's up guys, Dog3Pod here. Uh, just making a quick video. I actually uh, made a video already of doing the installation of my uh, second 980Ti. Uh, file got corrupted, one upload, looked like shit anyway, so... Uh, now I do have the second part where I benchmarked it and has the result of this. Um, I just had to make this little intro to let you know why it kind of starts like halfway through. Unfortunately I didn't get the installation. Um, but as you can see here, it went well. It's obviously both of them are running right now. Um, now my cable management is, don't mind that, that's just literally for my case, which I have side off. There's a fan on the outside there, or well, inside of the vent. So this cable actually gets hidden. But as you can see here, we have like an extra cable running in. We have these chunks here now which is not the neatest looking um i mean i'm gonna try and get those uh like kind of colored cables that uh go in here and hopefully that will make uh, it look a bit nicer um so oh one of them just went off there obviously the benchmark is finished in the background there um so as you can see here um there is a bit of a space between the two the now the one thing that is going on here that has me kind of uh, annoyed, and well you can't see it right now because these are not spinning because it's off right now because it's not in use. But, so this fan is okay, this fan is okay, they'll spin, this one in here, the middle one won't, and that's because of this, my PCIe hard drive. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I don't think it makes too much of a difference because I'm getting a fan and I'm installing it on here anyway. So, I mean, that should help with the airflow. I mean, it's just one small fan underneath here. So, hopefully it won't make too much of a difference. If it does, I might just, I don't know what I'll do. I might just switch maybe the PCIe to the top one and put the other one too lower, but I mean, I don't know if still if that'll fit because like there's a nice space between that one. It's just this. It's like you can't really even see it in the video here. Um, but basically, that middle fan because there's three down the bottom there. One that light is not helping. Um, so you got one here. This is the one that won't spin. It's kind of getting stuck a bit because of the PCI. You got one over here. And you got one here that spins fine. So, now, if you guys can leave a comment there to say maybe, hey, get that thing out of there, it needs them three fans, or no, don't worry, it's fine. Um, let me know, but as far as I can tell online, it seems to be okay. So I'm gonna get this side of the case back on here. I'm gonna put it back on, and I will cut to the benchmark results guys here we are this is the um, result of my installation uh, so I ran a benchmark to see what score I'd get as you can see here I got 8,900 or 8,094 um, let's compare online see how we did as this scored so this is the ultra one this is the 4k one um, as you can see here uh, 91% better than all results, way above what a 4K gaming PC marks at. Uh, so that's, there you go. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti, two of them. Now this was at a um, standard clock. I haven't overclocked them or like tweaked them even with the boost clock or anything like that on the uh, OC Guru or anything like that. So this is just straight out into the box, plugged in. No CPU overclock, no RAM overclock, no nothing, just everything's running very standard. Um, so over the next few days or week or so, I'd say, uh, I will be doing some overclocking to my rig to see how much it improves. Uh, fingers crossed it will do some decent stuff after that, but hopefully I don't break anything. Well, it was just a quick video just to see... Uh, Show you guys how I uh, what I got and how I 
did my first SLI installation. It was just a quick video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.